Hi, I'm Jason Webster with ViewSonic, and thank you for joining our live session today. We're going to talk about my ViewBoard whiteboard and how it can be your total hybrid solution in your classroom. Three years ago, we started whiteboard as a way for teachers to bridge that analog and digital content. Listening to what instructors wanted, we were able to support all major media formats, Google Documents, Office 365 documents, and legacy dot notebook and flip chart files. So what we're going to show now is how you take all that content in today's environment where you have students in and out of class and help them learn together. So it's all going to start with a simple concept we call host, join, and share. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to host a meeting. Now hosting a meeting is going to happen with your district-issued device, whether it's your laptop or your desktop, and the district-issued video conferencing software. So Teams, Meet, or Zoom are the three most popular. Get your content gathered together for that day's lesson. Send out the link to your students. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to join that session, right? So join is the next. Now, we're not just going to join the students to the class. We're also going to join the AV equipment that you have in that room or in your instructional space. That could be an interactive projector or that could be an interactive display like our ViewSonic view boards. Once you join that to the session, those students in the class can actually see what the students out of class are doing. So you give them the opportunity to present to their peers but they also can all see the same thing. From there, it is time to share our content. <clears throat> now, sharing is pretty easy. We support Google Files, Office 365, Smart.Notebook files, and Promethean Active Inspire.FlipChart files. All you have to do is go to the magic box and import those. But today, I'm just going to bring in a Google slide. Now, bringing in this Google slide is actually going to just bring in an image of that slide or of that deck. This is going to allow me to annotate and model any problems so that the students can follow along possibly in what you have distributed through your LMS. So here I've got an activity on area and I want to show the students how to do this. Now, because I'm sharing my screen to those students at home, and I'm also uh, sharing it through my interactive display or projector in the classroom, the students now can see how do I get to the area. Now the answer right here is 12, but they want to know is how did I do this? Well, we know that that formula is length, time, height, and that is going to equal the area. And so we can talk to the students and say, well, this is your length, and that's one, two, and three, and the height is going to be one, two, three, and four. So if you do four times three, we know through multiplication that equals 12. So I modeled this problem <clears throat> for the students that got this Google Doc. So now when they go through the rest of the problems that they're going to turn into you, they have that foundation. Now, what if I'm an instructor that likes to just teach from web-based lessons? Right? I don't bring in things to a whiteboard. I teach everything from Google Chrome or Edge Chromium browser. Well, we've got a solution for that. And what we do is we allow you to leverage what we call a Windows toggle button. So what Windows toggle is going to do is allow me to press that. And it's going to bring up. Put this down here to my panel. It's going to bring up the same exact lesson that I imported into my whiteboard session. Now, notice that all the inking I did prior doesn't come to this page. It stays as I intended it, which is a clean copy that I'm going to distribute to the students. But what if I wanted to do the same thing and I didn't want to import it and I just want to stay in Google? Well, I can do that. So over here, I have a floating toolbar that your students in class and at home can see. I'm going to open that up. There's my pen tools and I'm going to select my brush. I've got my color. Same thing. How do I get to this? Length, time, height. 
equal the area. And again, that's going to be the length, the height. One, two, three, two, three, and four. Same exact thing I did on the whiteboard side. And we use multiplication to come to the same answer. And then we can work through the same problems together. The students at home can be uh, putting in their answers uh, through the actual document and turning that into you as you intended. The other thing that we can do is use other websites as uh, learning tools. One of the most popular that is out there is FetMath. So I'm going to open up this simulator here. And let's kind of do the same thing. We're staying on the theme of area. So let's model that same problem that we had, which is a three by four model. So say you wanted to poll the students. Now we do have assessment built into that students in and out of class can answer questions. So what if we wanted to take this and say, you know what, we're gonna add one to the row and column. So we could count this out with the students. And so this is gonna now add us, make us as a four by five. Now what we can do from there in this hybrid world is say, okay, students, I'm going to open up a, uh, we have what we call pop quiz, which is instant. And we have poll quiz, which is a tool that allows you to create questions and answers that exports out to a Excel file, which again, lets you put that into your grade book. But again, we could have a poll and say, okay, students in and out of class, tell us what your answer is using pop quiz. And they would give us the answer, and then we can go back to our mouse tool and drag that down and say, correct, it's 20. So by leveraging you know, HTML5 sites that are interactive and the My View Board ecosystem with the Windows toggle, it allows you to bring uh, new ways of, of instructing to your students in and out of class just by leveraging this whiteboard and your video conferencing software. So let's go back into my lesson here. And I'm going to go down to open it up here and let's go to talk about originals for a moment. Now, in the beginning slide, you saw that there was originals, clips, <clears throat> record, and live stream. Originals is built by ViewSonic. These are activities that teachers have asked us to create so that you can engage students. Now, the activity that I'm going to load at this time is going to be on the counting birds. Now, when I bring this in, uh, it's several slides, several lessons that the instructor can use to help with the little ones in counting. But say your students are issued a uh, Windows 10 device or a MacBook. Now, through Teams and through Zoom, you can give those students actual control of your device so they can actually move the mouse cursor on an activity like this from home and say, we want five birds in the nest. Well, that student can grab the mouse and drop five birds into the nest. Now that's only on Windows 10 devices and Mac OS devices. So it does not support Chrome or iOS. So that is a neat way to leverage my view board and our original content to allow students to interact while they are at home or in class during the socially distanced time. Next, we have our what we call clips. Now what clips gives us, I'll go into here, clips is gonna give us curated education content that is age appropriate, that are in short bursts. These are ad free and they help augment your lesson. When you add clips to your My View Board session, you can stream those through your, to your students in and out of class by leveraging your video conferencing software. You'll have to remember on your video conferencing software to actually check the box that says share the desktop audio. But again, another way that my view board, whiteboard will help you in your hybrid environment. Next, we have teachers that want to record their lessons and share them after class. We know that not every student has access to internet. 
but they need to be included in how the lesson in, in the lesson and how you you know work through the problems or you know the concepts you want them to learn so by recording what we can do is give you the ability to record either the full video with all your inking and annotations or you can record just the audio so they can follow along with the PDF of your lesson at a later time. So we give you two ways to record your lesson and whichever works best for your teaching style and your students. Finally, we have what we call live streaming. Now this is popular because during this hybrid environment, we had instructors that wanted to stream to popular formats like YouTube. And we can do that. So what you would do is you would open up the recorder and instead of hitting the record button, you would hit the live stream button. All you would need to do is import your stream key and the URL that you're gonna be streaming to and you're live streaming your lesson to a popular format like YouTube. That way your students can watch it over and over and over again so that they can grasp the concept. But it is another way that we're leveraging whiteboard to help in these hybrid times. So what you've seen today is how we've taken a product called whiteboard and turned it into a hybrid solution by leveraging what we call host, join, and share. Hosting from your district issued laptop or desktop using Teams, Meet, or Zoom. Also having your students join, but also remembering to join your interactive product, whether it be a projector or a ViewSonic ViewBoard Interactive in your classroom. This bridges the gap so students in and out can work together on problems. Uh, we also, you know, give you the ability to share a wide array of curriculum content, whether it be in PDF format, video format, image format, Google, Microsoft, smart notebook files. Promethean Active Inspire files, they're all available to run on my ViewBoard Whiteboard during your host join and share session. For more information, I recommend that you go to myviewboard.com and that will uh, give you access to this free software. We don't charge for it. It's open to all brands of interactive projectors and all brands of interactive panels. We don't charge for this, so it's again, it's free. If you need more information, you can go to edu-support at viewsonic.com. Again, that's edu-support at viewsonic.com, and we can have one of our uh, support reps talk to you about what's best and how to use my view board in your classroom. I'd like to thank you for joining our session today and feel free to use the chat box to ask any questions uh, during this uh, time, and we will be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you again, and have a wonderful day.